Well, hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. That was cheesy, but I do not care. So for those of you who don't know, this video is a part of a challenge that involves other creators. The challenge was to produce a video on this day at this time, same title, so that somehow the YouTube algorithm puts that out. This was thought of by Time Out with Angela, and all the information is going to be linked down below. If you're interested in joining us for the next challenge, please join our Facebook group or email Time Out with Angela. Again, all the information will be posted down below. As some of you might know who follow me, um, I've been doing the keto diet for the past five and a half weeks. So the breakfast that I'm gonna share with you today is gonna be keto friendly. Now we're gonna keep things very simple. I'm not that much of a chef, not that much of a cook, so I like to keep my ingredients fairly simple and the process fairly simple. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to make scrambled eggs with sauteed green pepper, onions, and then a side of crispy bacon. Step number one is to take about, I would say half of a green bell pepper, and about half a cup of onions. Now this is all your preference at this point. If you like more onions, put more onions. There's gonna be no real measurements in this video. Let me just be clear. Chop them up, then you're gonna saute them. Now, a little tip for you is that I like to saute things in bacon fat. While you're doing that, you're gonna crack four eggs. Now keep in mind that this is a serving size for at least two people. The secret to getting that creamy scrambled egg texture is in how you whisk it. I believe like the air gets into the whisking and that's what makes it fluffy. Like that's the word I want. Fluffy eggs, not creamy. Fluffy. So you whisk it up and then you're going to put your bacon right on a skillet. Now I use an iron cast skillet because you're going to see that it's going to crisp the bacon a little bit better and the bacon's not going to get all like shriveled up, which I don't like when my bacon does that. Never good when things shrivel up. You're gonna let that cook, the bacon, and you're gonna let the bacon cook. Get the pepper, get the, get the onion sauteed, and you're gonna remove that because now we're gonna use that same pan to start scrambling our eggs. I like to keep this on a very low heat. And the reason is because even though you put the eggs in the pan, at this point, you're gonna wanna stir the eggs while they're in the pan. That's gonna get it to be that fluffy kind of texture that makes scrambled eggs delicious. Once your eggs are done, you're gonna put them on a plate and then you're gonna add the vegetables on top and then you are going to add your perfectly crisp bacon to the side. Well, that's it. It's a very simple recipe. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching.